downtown Joplin is home to dozens of art galleries, shops, and restaurants, and soon Jasper's Juicery. Jason Miller and his wife are making upgrades, repainting walls, replacing bar tops, and getting new furniture before it opens next month. We're focused on it every day now, um, and we're just excited to get it done and get the doors open and see how people like it. The juicery is one of several new businesses setting up shop near Joplin's Main Street. Downtowns and historic districts and stuff really are kind of the heart of the heart of a city, the heart of, of where we are. It's where we came from. Over the past 10 years, 1st Street through 7th Street in downtown Joplin has seen a decrease in vacancy rates from about 60% to now 7%. Proof of success can be found at the Griffin Building, holding more than 30 businesses like King Pizza, Local Color Art Gallery and Studio, and Sweet Carolines. This site, this store, it just, it, it just spoke. Um, nostalgia and ice cream. Manager Ginger Sweet says the May 2011 tornado wiped out ice cream in this part of town, so she wanted to bring it back with class. You can request them like the old days if you want a traditional chocolate shake made with vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup, we can do that or we can make it with chocolate ice cream if you want. And just blocks away, Pearl Brothers has seen a lot of changes downtown. The hardware store has been open for more than 60 years. Been in a downtown location since 1949 and I'd rather stay down here than go out with all the traffic and all the congestion. We're easier to get to, we're more convenient. Han says the next step for downtown Joplin is to focus more on the roads that are off of Main Street. Which also leads to jobs and further economic development, leads to people living downtown. And from the looks of things, it doesn't look like downtown Joplin will be slowing down anytime soon. Reporting in Joplin, Courtney Brown, Action 12 News.